welcome to Low Riders Part 2. The tornado is out for sale right now. It is this week's released car. Every week it should be a car released. I don't know if it's tour or not, but this is the new car that has been released. It is called the tornado. And anyone who does unlimited money glitch, apparently it's going to get banned. But I do not know if that's true. So, j just in case... You, you just just don't do the money glitch because you could get banned. And also, that's the same with any other glitch. I don't know if it counts as the, I don't know if it's, if I don't know if it's the Pacific Standard glitch is one of them or well. So like, if you're doing like unlimited money glitch, don't do it because you, you're gonna get banned. And if you unlink your social club account, and then you do the unlimited money glitch, when you link your social club back up for when you want to transfer this GTA when you want to transfer this GTA to the next GTA you will be banned because the website will update itself and then see you've been doing the glitches and I think that counts the same with a closed glitch as well so like if you've been doing closed glitches as well I think you're going to get banned it's really annoying like I mean, even and even launch glitches where you're launching in the sky Anyway, so any glitch you do, you can get banned from doing it, except for the Pacific Standard glitch, I think, but I'm not too sure on that. So, I'm not too sure. Anyway, this is the, um, the new car, the Tornado. Pretty good. I'm upgrading it to the max. Also, when the best way to make money right now is to do missions like do like um like rooftop rumble and um what else what else rooftop rumble blow up two mission and also cat lives in out the house or something that's a really easy mission but if you play it with four, if you do all these mission, if you blow up, blow up is with two people. So if you do blow up with two, one one person in your clan, and then you do like rooftop number of four people in your clan, you get so much more money, way more money. And look at these all these new customations. I'll always like to go the most expensive one just in case I want to sell the car, even though I like these ones here. I'm not going to buy them because it doesn't increase the value of a car the most. Yeah, because I like my car. I like to make my car the most expensive I possibly can. Um, I don't really get the best customizing options, but like, if you want to get choose any customized options you want, you can. But I like to go for the most dearest. So like, if I want to sell a car, I get my I get more money back from it. So, also, all this stuff is on sale overall for bunnies because it's special offer on on this car. It doesn't have to say special offer. Just I know for sure, these prices are not. These prices would be so much more dearer if it wasn't on sale. And I know for sure it's on sale because. They said it would be on sale. Why would they lie? You know what I mean? So, make your car more expensive. What you do is you put chrome, then you put a metallic. I'm gonna go for a super orange. It looks so fucking cool. Then I'm gonna go for pleasant. Then I'm gonna go for that one. That looks so like cool. Well, look how amazing that looks. It even makes the photo not look that bad. When you want to go, then oh, this is the inside of the car, which I've already done. I've already done that. Well. 
on the IGN label. So yeah, you're afraid you can only have one color on this car. And there's the roof. There's this is a really nice car. And also, I'm going to be making a video of the performance of this car. Uh, I'm going to be driving this car around a bit, but not too much. Because there's really no need to. And also, to get three tires, what you have to do is like, you have to do races loads of times in the car. What one should I go for? Hmm. That one. That looks nice. No, I'll have to choose a color I want. That one. Now I'm gonna go for the wheels to sign. I want the most expensive value on my car, so I'm gonna go for that one. Bulletproof tires. Um crew smoke and I'm also gonna get windows and also just because you bought the car doesn't mean it's gonna have insurance on it best of doing thing to do is always check if this vehicle's got insurance on and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> alright guys welcome to the next video where we go around in the tornado and this is the tornado it is a very fast car, it is counts as a sports classic, it is very good. And also, just me, I want to give you some more information about GTA. If you do any sort of glitches on GTA, apparently you will be banned because Rockstar can see you in the social club. Even if you unlink your social club and do glitches, when you have linked your social club back up, and then you transfer your save data over to GTA 6, before you transfer your data over to GTA 6, you will not be able to because your account will be instantly banned. Because they because the, up, the website updates itself, and because the website updates itself, they will see you've been doing glitches and you've been found with a dupe in your car and doing close glitches. But I do not know if it counts for the Pacific Standard glitch. My guess it does because it does count as a glitch. And my guess, Rockstar said anyone who's doing any glitch would be banned. So. I think that means any glitch, closing glitch, mission glitches, any glitch, um, launching glitches, um, just technically means any glitches, AFK glitches, um, be even be ported too many times, uh, but let's say you're like level 400 and something, and someone reports you for like ranking up too fast or cheating then you should not get banned because you have not been ranking up too fast or have you the best way to rank up is to do like rooftop rumble bar up two or transcending cat i do not know if you get banned from doing pacific standard over and over again someone please tell me if you do no one wants to get banned on gta 5 so all the glitches you cannot do except for pacific standards that far as i know if anyone gets banned from doing Pacific Standard, please say. Because Pacific Standard is a very good way to make money. You can make like four million a day on it. It is such a good way to make money. And it's so sad you can't do any glaciers. Except for Pacific Standard. Right, I gotta go into the gun shop. And if you would like to know where you buy the bulletproof armor from, it's not 100% bulletproof. You come into the gun shop. And there you go. If you do not say prayer outfit, you have to equip it to that use it in a heist. In the US of a. I promise. Let's see if there's any new guns on this DFC. No, there isn't. There is just a new car, that is it. 
I'm not high enough to unlock the minigun yet. And this is where you buy armor from in the gun shop. There you go. And this is how you equip armor on inventory body armor. There we go. And so this is how you eat snacks here and there. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next video.